Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Snowboard Music Podcast. And you guys know the drill. You might notice something different this time because I'm not wearing the hoodie. Getting hot up here. So I'm trying to be cool, cooler than what I really am. But I'm trying to stay cooled off in a hot office. But besides all that, what's hot right now is the band that I have with me today. And I became really good friends with the lead guitarist, became a really good buddy of mine, and we are honored to have them. You might know them by some of their hits known as Helena Has a Time Machine, Chasing, well, Chasing Supernovas is the name of the band, but they have a lot of new ones out right now, and it's hard as hell to keep up with all of them because they've got so much good music out there. Anyway, uh, welcome, my guests, <laughs> Kyle and Lindsay. They are Chasing Supernovas. Thanks, man. Thanks for having us. How you doing? It's great to have you. Sorry I couldn't name off all the songs. Like I said, you got so many that are badass. It's like, I'm getting tongue-tied here. <laughs> and, and they're not short names. No, no, no. Especially brown mitts, make the gravy. Uh, the cheese stands Helen, along. Um, puppy doesn't know nothing. Yeah, uh, Poppy doesn't know nothing. nothing about nothing. Yep, all those fun ones. Definitely creative and unique, though. Something you will remember. Oh, yeah. for sure. For sure. Absolutely. Some yeah. of these were, like, uh, some of these were like actually, um, like the working titles, like, and they were just like, you know what, screw it, we're too lazy to actually change the name. <laughs> or we fell in love with the name after we started actually writing the song. Yeah, ain't nothing wrong with that. How's your newest single turning out for you guys? A chance to burn. How's the feedback been on that? It's been good. Um, Helena has a time machine blew up as soon as we uh, dropped it in November. 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 So the well the Amber. Yeah. The, the 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 album went out in Thanksgiving, but when did we actually like start? We we accidentally I think dropped we accidentally it. We dropped it in October. Did no no no. Up? Okay, you, you're talking about the actual album dropped accidentally. No or you're no. Talking about the, the the single. We dropped. Oh, this, sorry, we're we're re obviously really organized, but no. Um, we we accidentally dropped the single. Helena, we were trying to push. Um. Oh God, which song was this? Like track four, No Summer. We were trying to push yeah. that. We were trying to push it hot, hard. And the next thing we know, um, we we played it once on WBRR, and all of a sudden it just took off. Yeah. And uh, that's that's been our lead single. That that uh, kept us on the charts, God, for like six months, and then finally it just kind of died off. Um, and so we started working on a new one with uh, Miles from uh, from Salt. Yeah. You guys are doing an amazing job, being that you only have a, I don't know if I consider it an EP, but with the music yep. you have released and the momentum you're getting and the feedback you're getting, there's obviously gold here just waiting to be struck. And it seems oh, like yeah. you guys are getting real close to it. Yeah, for sure. For sure. And now, Lindsay, fun, I got to give you massive props, Lindsay, because I love your vocal styles. Thank you. You have so a really, you have a good knack and ability to bring in that adrenaline and to bring in that drive, but you know just the right times when to like slow it down to soften the nerves, then to kick people in the face with a steel toe work boot all over again. <laughs> yep. Yes, yes, yes. I can't wait for you to come and see us play a live show because that the the adrenaline rushes for real um in live shows and we are coming at everywhere. Like we're, I I was gonna say something naughty, but now I don't know if I should. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> I was gonna say we're we're coming all over the place. Oh, <laughs> well, you know, listeners, it, it's it's all up to you and how you take it. <laughs> That's also what she said. This is gonna be one of those interview fans. I'm trying to keep yeah. it serious, and all the puns and innuendos, you know, just be ready for laughs. <laughs> Here it That's comes. My, all my life is this pun and innuendo. <laughs> but, but I think you guys have that kind of creative mind. That's why you're able to produce this kind of music is that you have that mindset. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. And honestly, like, I wouldn't do this with anybody else. Kyle is my best friend. And we have been through some real shit together, um, band-wise. And, and apart. Yeah, like, we, like, life just has really... The, the gnashing it's, of the teeth is real. It, and we it's put provided it it's provided some really good inspiration, that's Absolutely. for sure. Yeah. And we have fun with it. And we as, have a lot of fun with it. As well as you should. I am, I am curious because every song usually has a story or a message behind it. 
And I'm curious about um Razorblade Crosswalks and Helena has a time machine. Uh so Razorblade Crosswalk. Um I actually wrote that in 2006 7 something like that is 2006 is the first demo you sent me yeah uh yeah so um honestly i had i was living in alliance nebraska i was all by myself that was the first time i've been out on my own and um i honestly had just gotten back into like hard hard music for a long time i got into like like punk rock and um you know I guess a little bit of ska, some hardcore, but not nothing, anything like, um, what, like what Razorblade is. And I, I just, I gravitated towards uh, a lot of that same like guitar styles and the same vocal styles. I was really trying to find my like voice and scream. In all honesty though, I, I didn't know what I was writing about. And, uh, I, I still to this day will maintain like, that's just, it, I was just trying to be a poet honestly like i i wanted to like i want anybody who's listening to it to get it um to whatever they feel that's that's what the song is about uh, i mean you can tell me it's about macaroni and cheese and and i will totally agree with you <laughs> it's a political song it's really deep yeah there you go there you go see, and see i think it, i think it is deep like the the first time i ever heard the song the lyrics just touched me in a way that it came all over I the place can't... <laughs> yeah. yeah i i don't know i just when i heard the song for the first time i cried it just it was deep and heartfelt and i like when he had sent it to me originally um in dear frida saying that he had thought about wanting to redo that one i bawled i was in the middle of a divorce and it just the lyrics just touched me and then hearing the revamp of it and the added um vocals to it the added chorus just kind of brought and then being able to bring it to life yeah. like oh yeah. my god then i'm just baffled <laughs> i i'm seriously we uh as far as like helena is concerned honest to goodness i that's that's um uh we that one was so we were screwing around <laughs> we were screwing around big time and we had this song the song's epic and we tried throwing some different lyrics to it and it just didn't just didn't fit and i i'm like i'm sitting there with Lindsay. i'm like yo have you ever played with one of those lyric generators and she goes no and so we started throwing this thing like cheese beer toilets butts you know everything like that and every you, like every, you were throwing out that song. I'm putting the, like Raven and Dark Man. Well, you know, but here's the thing though, is like every every like every like other one ended up like spitting back to us like something. And finally we took it and we rearranged it and we put our own like spin on it because like some of the stuff that those AIs come out with are just <laughs> ridiculous. So we but, took a couple of lines and then added to it. Yeah, and, we added the chorus yeah. and and all that fun stuff, and all of a sudden we're just feeling it, and uh, it's it turned out the way it is. It's probably it's one of my favorite songs. It's one of my favorite songs to play live too. Oh my gosh, it's so just fun. because it's got so much fun energy. Like it's it's not really a metal song, but it's got like the metal parts to it, mm -hmm. and it's not really punk, but it's got a punk part to it. It's just. It's got everything you ever wanted in in everything in it, so or at least that's what I feel like anyway. I don't know. No, I agree. It's got I a little really bit like of everything. Guys, I really like your guys' sound though, because you're so unique. You you can't compare Chasing Supernovas to a band that you've heard before, and you can't narrow them down to like, man, they kind of sound like this, they kind of sound like that. That's what I like about what you guys are doing. You guys are in a league of your own, and you are blazing your own trail, which I uh, I highly applaud because. We, I think we need to see more of that uniqueness. Absolutely. Something uh, that sets us apart. We, we definitely, we definitely have felt that there's been a lot of, we, we've uh, seen, uh, so there's been a lot of uh, accolades towards what we've done, but there's also been a lot of like, I don't want to say like industry disdain, but you got oh, like, a, you got a lot of criticism. You like a lot of hate. Well, yeah, but we at, at the same time, like a lot of it comes from like the sound of the record. Like I, I did this all in my computer in my basement yeah. and I wrote all the music, like, uh, uh, like all the drum hits, all the guitars, uh, the, the everything. And then, you know, you know, 
combining with Lindsay to actually record it. Um, I didn't realize that this is a thing um, for anybody that's a computer nerd. I did this all on a uh, core two. A core two. He did this all with only two cores. Yeah. I, like recording the guitars and the processing, like the amount. See, I'm a, I'm a nerd, by the way. So like <laughs> when I found out that his compact was a core two. Yeah, it was on a compact. And yeah. the coming out with the quality that he was coming out with. Um, my goal as a nerd and computer person was to get him into something so that way he could hear what his talent could actually do on something that was meant for that kind of processing to be able to house the guitars and all the drums and do the bass and do the recording, but also do the mixing and the mastering to be able to get him into a computer that was worthy of his abilities was is my like was my goal because uh, i can hear i could hear and see what he was able to put out on his own with what he had and that's what we all do we all just try to put out there with what we have like we uh, me i make merch i make the merch by myself and I do what I do because I have the tools to do it. But I started. She from did scratch. the video to to I Helena. Did, exactly. And the I video mean, like for Helena was all done in, on my in my house and my computer. So yeah, I mean, it's just we. I, I guess we've we've caught a lot of criticism because everybody expects a certain uh, a, like an a industry. Well, yeah, an industry standard like quality and when you're like almost there, we always hear like, oh, well, if you just did this just a little bit different with the drums or you did yep. just a little bit that like, bro, we were just working with what we have. We did this album, like, you know, kind of on a, a shoestring budget, um, <laughs> very, very shoestring. <laughs> um, and, and we pull it out of our, I mean, for lack of better terms, we pull it out of our ass. Yeah. So, I mean, like, I, I'm just kind of proud of what it is and what, what we are able to accomplish with it. Cause I mean, it's been like uh, the fans that that are fans of chasing supernovas. They've all dug it big time. Yeah. So it's and real. To be honest, our goal was just to get the music out. Yeah. That like, it's music that we want to listen to ourselves, and we know that it's unique to us, and that it may not be everybody's forte. But it's music that I want to listen to. And if I want to listen to it, then somebody else probably wants to listen to it. And if the lyrics mean something to me, chances are they're going to mean something to someone else. Yeah. And if I could touch just one person with my words, I'm going to. That's the beautiful thing about music is that you don't know how it's going to reach somebody. Some people, you know, may not be their cup of tea. And to someone else, it just might be their whole world or just might be a defining factor that turns things around for them. And as I said, I, I, what you're describing earlier, you know, it's 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 great hearing that kind of music on a compact core too. You know, but coming out with what you do, it's like it, it's it's realism at its finest. You know, there's a lot of people out there who have like the best equipment out there, the fancy, uh, but the music ain't always that great. Yeah, exactly. Right, right. We've we've definitely seen that a couple of different times. I mean. Not to name any names or, or hurt anybody's feelings, but like we've definitely noticed that quality. Um, we've seen it locally and we've seen it nationally. And sometimes you don't need the best of the best. Sometimes you just need the drive. Yeah, the passion reflects your. Me, Kyle, we were talking about this the other day. How music is a reflection of your passion, and your passion yep. should be a reflection of your music. Yeah. yeah. Oh, for sure. Absolutely, and, man. And you guys are showing it fine. Just doing a great job. Well, thank you. Thank you, so thank you much. very much, man. We appreciate that big time. So, like, I was I was talking with another friend uh, earlier today. He does uh, uh, YouTube reviews and everything like that, and uh, like stuff like like this, like, and just hearing the the compliment um, just makes this all worthwhile. Because there's sometimes where you, you're so secluded and you get in your head and you don't know how it's how it's how it actually sounds or how people are receiving it and um, you know, there's, there's times where like we get super down just because we are our own. Yeah, we're critics, yeah. Man. We'll like, listen to a song, we'll be like, "That's trash." Yep, it's and absolutely then, trash. And then I'll listen to what he's put out, and I'm like, "Are you kidding me?" <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's, there's, in, in fact, I think, uh, Helena and Brown Bits, uh, Brown Bits make the gravy. Those songs, I was like, God, I, I feel those songs, but they, I don't know about them. I think they're kind of trash. And she's like, "You are an idiot." 
and then <laughs> Those are my two favorites. Yeah, and then I mean, just a little, just a little bit of a different rearrangement, or you know, maybe a placement of a vocal, or you yeah. know, replace this or that, and all of a sudden, next thing you know, it's 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 what you hear on the record now. Um, so like I said, I guess to tie it all in, uh, you know, in a very breathy manner here, um, uh, thank you. <laughs> we, we, we appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. And on a side note, fans, if you guys want to get some of their merch, Lindsay does an amazing job because this, this last yeah, Christmas, does. I went to her to get some work done for my wife for a Christmas gift. And it's amazing. I wish I could show you. I have one of their tumblers on my collectible shelf right behind me. Aww. So yeah, it's it's very sentimental and personal to me. So they do great work, fans. I tell you guys, get a t-shirt, get some merch. You're getting top notch quality, and it's really good. It's coming right from the artist. So do it. <laughs> so we also do have merch on our website that is made from a drop shipper. Um, that's www.chasingsupernovas.com. Um, they can actually also, so you can reach out to me for personalized merch. But we can actually have a drop shipper ship actual merch from our website as we, well. We did make the designs that go on those, oh, yeah. though. So, we I mean, it's not like, but it's not like it's, it's, we, we still, we still made it in some form, shape, way, or form. Yes. Like, we're, we're a completely DIY man for, for all intents and purposes. Absolutely. I can tell, but you know what? I think it's amazing because your work your merchandise everything you guys are doing it's it's first hand it's all you and that's what's amazing about it thank you very much we're at a point in the show right now we do a little something special we call it the floor is yours and i like to give all my guests a little bit of time if they want to send out a special message or something they'd like to say the floor is yours oh um all right first off to whoever invented tacos you're awesome that's that's badass um big shout out tacos are the best they are the bomb dude really tell me one person that doesn't like tacos we have tacos coming tonight. yeah we have tacos coming tonight for the show um no uh want to say he first off thank you mike for having us I, I i do appreciate you taking the time to to actually uh sit in with us and and find out more about us and and broadcast us out man you're you're the bomb dude we appreciate yeah. you big time um, to everybody else that's uh, picked up a copy of A Chance to Burn, you're awesome too. We couldn't do this without you guys. Uh, obviously, there's there's no we don't we I make music because I like to hear my own voice sometimes, but uh, that gets old. So when somebody else picks it up, thank you very much. I do appreciate that greatly. Um, uh, huge shout out to uh, our our endorsement people, uh, Dirtbag yes. Clothing um massive media too. yep mass media um canonaheen guitars yes. um you guys uh we we all this stuff is so surreal half the time it's yeah like, we're we're super excited to be working with massive media because they they're wanting to get us all over and yeah. the next like real big thing that we're going to be doing is we're heading south um towards the gulf coast we'll be coming and, up north to see you though dude. yeah we'll we'll come up north and see I'll you be front row. if we if we come to chicago you're gonna come down and see us uh, i gotta talk to the wife on that one <laughs> 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 but if you're in green bay most definitely <laughs> fair enough yes. oh hell oh, yeah, yeah. we go to green bay i'll go to green bay uh, you guys hook us up with some cheese and, and some Packers stuff too. It'd be no, awesome. Just the cheese. Yeah, I can't, you gotta talk to my wife on the Packers tip. She's a Packers uh, fan. I, I like the sport overall, but I'm not really designated. Uh, ne neither am I, but that's, that's that's the only thing I can really think of when I when I think of Green Bay. Uh, if it was Milwaukee, it'd say Harley Davidson. So, and beer. <laughs> and beer. And beer. Yes. Beer is good and stuff. Um I want to say shout out to all of our fans who listen to us. Um, everybody that gracefully moved over from the Dear Frida era yep. um, to the Chasing Supernovas. It was kind of a difficult choice to make, um, starting something fresh and from scratch um, while still trying to keep the integrity of some of the songs that we did bring over with us. Razor blade. And yep. now we're, we're we're doing a couple more yep. too. Yep. So we are revamping Dead and Knife and Dagger from Dear Frida. So if, yeah, um, if you've heard it before, then you're gonna dig it now. Oh my gosh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I cannot wait. I'm so excited to record those. 
Um, but I also want to, I know this is stupid, but a huge shout out to Kyle. Nope. Because the, the reason why I say that is I was just a girl with a dream of music and I didn't get a lot of support. Um, I'm in my thirties starting over from scratch. And like, if, if he hadn't of decided to start this journey with me, I have no idea where I would be right now. And I don't know. I just think about that constantly. Like you took a chance on a girl <laughs> that never had written music like this before. And you sent me a guitar riff and we made something really freaking awesome. Dude, she's, she's got pipes for days. She's got pipes for days. And she's gone too. Let it be no fans. <laughs> this is the first time someone's actually blunting during one of our interviews. <laughs> no. Not that case. No, no. I was talking about Kyle, but okay. <laughs> yeah. My own life. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Well, for, all the new, for all our new listeners who are eating tacos right now and getting to know more about <laughs> you, how can they find you guys and follow you? On Spotify, Apple Music, uh, Deezer, Pandora, any 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 um any streaming site we're on there. Say, uh, Chasing Supernovas. Yep, YouTube. Um, we do have a website www.chasingsupernovas.com. Um, you know, if you show up the back alley of the keg later on tonight, I might be drunk. You'll probably hear us there. Um. <laughs> But aside from that, man, like you can catch us all over the place. We're 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 starting to look into different platforms all across the board. Um, we do have I think is it Discord or Twitch? We're probably yeah, gonna Twitch. Yeah, we're gonna start doing more stuff on Twitch yeah. later on. Yeah, um, we'll just, probably end up starting a Discord server after we play a few more live shows. Yeah. Um, our website does take you to all of our social media yep. outlets as well because we're tiktok instagram youtube facebook um, make funny tiktoks kyle makes the funniest tiktoks (laughs) don't let him fool you by his casual demeanor (laughs) they're gonna have you uh laughing for days asthma laughing to be honest um one thing i do want my wife (laughs) (laughs) we we do have a spotify pre-save out right now for razor blade 2.0 drops on june 9th yep. um 6-9 <laughs> <six, nine. laughs> insert beavis and butthead laugh yeah. right there yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um and you can actually go to our website and, and pre-save, pre-save from, from there, there. Yep. yeah uh we 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 decided we've there's a couple of songs that were done on um both uh during ch- uh chance to burn and um ch- during dear frida that really deserved a little bit more respect on how they were recorded and the sound that that they have because they're already pretty amazing um we started working with miles claiborne from saul and vigilante productions and uh we we redid them so that they it gets it, like I say it gets the sound that it deserves uh so that we're looking to drop razor blade uh 2.0 on um 6.9 and uh well, it's gonna be it's gonna be cool we're actually we're in the midst of coming up with a video for it right now yeah. so and so far it's so cool yeah now now we just gotta film it <laughs> i gotta find a yeah. way to get in on one of these videos with all the interviews i do for these bands and everything that i do i gotta find a way to be an extra on one of these <laughs> dude yeah hey i will hit you up tonight after the show yeah you should you should do like have, you should do like a zoom thing. i have a way i have a way i actually have a brilliant idea okay yeah all cool right. <laughs> See, asking ye shall receive, broski. <laughs> well, fans, you can't tell there's a lot of chemistry between this band and I, because we talk a lot, but it's a yeah. different platform this time. But nonetheless, oh, yeah. I do thank you guys for taking the time out tonight and coming to talk with us and get let the fans yeah. know more about you and your music. I know you guys are getting ready for a show, and you are the first band to ever be doing it live from the car. So... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Very close quarters. Well, I figured you wanted to actually hear us and not somebody else playing and just see us mouthing them. Yeah, it does get loud in there. Uh, 
Well, be glad none of your friends are there to realize what's going on because they could be in that rear view mirror probably mooning or just screwing with you guys or something you would never know. Passing by my side and like one of them raised their shirt and like, oh, Billy. And then the other one. So, yeah, it's it's been good, man. It's been good. Yeah, we have we have some of the best um, most degenerate friends possible, yes. and they're amazing. Yes, the scene here is pretty tight, oh. tight knit, and that's how it should be: supporting one another and building one another up. Substance is another group that we're heavily affiliated with, and you know it, they're great frontliners so encouraging that. I'm glad to see you guys are doing the same. Yeah. Yes. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. We do a lot to bring bring people together. Yeah when it when it comes to a lot of this stuff so absolutely the fundraiser that we're doing tonight is actually to keep a metal um radio show on the air well actually it's just keep the radio station open so they're, the they, they do donation open. only um but our uh buddy of ours um uh john cruz he's the metal maniac on kzum and lincoln he uh he does a lot to to ensure that the station stays open uh, puts on these benefits and we always oblige. He's been one of the coolest dudes ever. Absolutely. So just like you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't take the credit, man. These interviews aren't about me. This is about the band and the music. <laughs> That's why I can't comment when I hear stuff like that. <laughs> you stop that. You stop that. We love you. Well, it's feeling really mutual, but... I'm not going to keep you any longer because I know you guys got to get ready for a show. But again, thank you for coming out and taking a little bit of time for us to get to know you, talk with you. And fans, right. I already told you where to find them, how to follow them. I highly, highly, highly encourage you to do this. <laughs> oh, guys, yeah. have a good show tonight. Have fun. Thank you. We will be in touch. Fans, as you know, all good things must come to an end, and we've hit our mark. But we'll see you again soon. I'm your host, Mike Stover. This has been the Bad S. Chasing supernovas. Till then, we'll see you guys soon. Thank so, you. later, guys. Peace.